We're gonna jump in here. First time I've actually jumped in one of the GoPros, so we're gonna see how it's like. Coming up from Spray Point, this guy here, Porcupine. I don't know what he is, I think he's a porcupine. Alright, so we've just gone to Bay of Islands, aka Diamond Bay. In there is Diamond Bay. I'd go over there where there's people there standing. So I can't really give you a better view of it. Um, so, yep, I'm trying to get on this very rock in front of you. Alright, so, yep, set to go under that. Try to go down here. It looks okay from here, but I think further down it gets a bit dangerously steep. Nah, should be alright. Should be able to get down there. Alright, made it down just there. Probably hard to see, I can't tell. It's literally just a chair. It's also a shovel. Down to those. Anyway. Um, I reckon getting to this rock's gonna be the hardest part. I'm gonna try. Here for you to explore. It's good. It's grass. Someone else has come down. Anyway, uh, get my water shoes on now. Just try and walk through here as best as I can. If it's too sketchy, I'm not going to worry about it. I can assure you, on a day when there's no waves, I'll be right near the end of these and I'll show you all the um, erosion and all sorts of things there'll be. Don't know how much of this I'm going to bother filming, but if I need to put the camera down, in case I'm worried about slipping or I need to use my hands, I will. A lot of good swimming areas here though. new areas. There are waves here too. It's not like these rocks are completely blocking the waves. There is still some. Um, like I can imagine the tides in, you wouldn't want to stand here. Like on those big tides, oh my god. So it will be good. Yeah, so there's deeper areas in here, but there's like a little shallow path you can go across. So we've made it. Um, there's just going to be a lot of waves. Okay, just definitely can't get close. Like right, like it's not far away where the main line is. All right, so now that we're on these sharper rocks here, the water shoes will come in more of a use. There's wearing them on that seaweed. It's this seaweed here that's the really slippery seaweed when I have these shoes on. It's just this stuff here, all the time. Like the most common seaweed. So yeah, look at look how eroded these are. The 
gotta watch for the holes too. I just love seeing all of the just topography. Like this is the main part of exploring to me that's the best. Like look at that. That is scary bro. Holy crap. So that there's the main spot that I'm trying to get to. So basically it just goes in there and it comes out. Right, I thought there was like another hole in there when the water spurts out. That's why so much looks like so much is coming out. But it's actually not the case. This is the tide out. When the tide's in, this spot here is even worse. Like, it is crazy. I'm just trying not to get spray on my camera. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine hiding in there on a big tide. Oh my god, that'd be death. So you can see that little broken ledge there that the water climbs up on that small area and then hits that. That's all eroded off, therefore creating an impact zone. That's similar to spray point that one there. You would definitely not want to be standing there when the tide's really high. That little ledge. I got very lucky that there weren't very many big waves because if there was I would have easily been able to get knocked off into the pool of water that I'm filming right now and because of the distance between the main rock cliff and then the edge of the water is so small the wave will still have enough energy to knock me off. Because um, when I went around on the other side, while I had the chance when there was no waves, a small one came and it still actually nearly swept me. Because over there, it gets it's like only a small area between the main rock and then the water itself. And when the wave goes up, it's still strong. And I had nowhere to run away. I was like stuck hugging the wall. And so it actually nearly swept me off, which could have been really bad. So over there is definitely the most dangerous part, over there. Here are okay because the waves aren't as strong. Uh, but again, the tide's out, so nowhere near as dangerous. So you can see the crack rocks there and everything. So, yep, I'm not going to worry about those islands. I know they're accessible, I know they're easy to get to. Um, it's actually even easier to get to than this one here. Because um, it is actually getting late too, so battery camera is going to die and it's getting late and I know I can get to them easy so we'll leave those for another time so yep see you back
be pitch black this time in winter. So I'll make the most of these last summer days and the daylight savings is gonna really kick in. See the purple light.